Riverside Avenue is getting a facelift aimed at improving safety for cyclists. The city of Spokane is moving forward with plans to add protected bike lanes on the downtown street from Division to Monroe. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now and shares what those changes are going to look like. By this fall, Riverside Avenue is going to look completely different. Its four lanes are going to be reduced to three, making space for protected bike lanes. Riverside Avenue is a street most cyclists tend to avoid. So as a cyclist, you know, that kind of uh, constantly changing uh, vehicle traffic is really uh, unsettling and, and frankly dangerous. But once the city adds protected bike lanes, cyclists like Rhonda Young will likely travel through here more often. It's just the right project to, to, to bring this to Spokane, and I think people will really like it. According to city plans, the estimated $5 million project will include replacing the main water line, paving the street and reconfiguring the street lanes. The bike lanes will run behind Spokane Transit Authority bus stops. This ensures separation between bicyclists and buses. But details like how the bike and driving lanes are separated have not yet been finalized. Still, while the traffic flow will be new to both drivers and cyclists, Young believes it won't take long to get used to. There'll still be plenty of space for the vehicles, there'll still be parking, um, and it just kind of gives, it just allocates everybody their own space, so it's almost more predictable. There are some cyclists who believe the design should have even more barriers to separate the lanes. A lot of people are against it because they just don't understand. They haven't lived in a city where it works. Eric Nelson is excited for the project, though, and believes it will encourage more people to get their role on. If we had more protected bike lanes, you'd have more people riding their bikes. And especially with the, the e-bikes that are coming out, we're having more and more older people who are getting back into biking. Construction on Riverside is expected to begin this spring. It will be completed as early as this fall. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.